I don't want to get offended. Check out these epic disasters. Just watched a performance a while back of Beethoven's Fifth, the first movement in particular, from I think it would be December of 2005, so the year after my father died. And this this commentary is perfect. This guy says, at 27 seconds, the conductor looks like he is fishing his hand into a bull's anus. <laughs> you win the internet! LOL! Fishing his hand into a bull's anus. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does look like he's fishing his hand into a bull's anus. What the hell, man? It, 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 it's just a look like. What? <laughs> oh, Worst trombone solo you've ever heard in a work by Maurice Ravel. I mean, just just, just listen. To it.
Such an epic fail. Just, 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 just listen to this, man. Just listen to this. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. How the hell did you miss a wedding march? We make members of them. Now I see 
man, she wanted a kiss. She get the dab, you all of your feelings. Girls, you mad? I had to leave you right in the past. This not a movie, this not an act. You looking for me, you know where I'm at. I'm all of her box, I feel like Jack. I spit that dope, your mouth full of crack. What happened to John? He beat the compact. Niggas ain't real, and that is a fact. I don't need scissors, ain't cutting no sl- Last night, I was at our school's talent show. I wasn't. With my friend, Whitney. And these girls... Let's show you the girls that don't sing good. Because I'm going to show you the girls that do sing good. I don't you want to be able to make fun of them. Yeah, so... so they just show us. Oh, no. Yeah, no. And I couldn't zoom. Yeah, to the point. Oh my God. This girl cannot sing. God. <laughs> See you next time. Cardiac arrest eating that damn thing. What the hell? Tag <laughs> <laughs> on one and say nothing. Good to see a mini. Oh, so they're a fan of Illuminati Entertainment. Of course, you can't spell Illumination without Illuminati, right? But technically, that's what they are. They're an Illuminati. Come on, man. You can't. <laughs> Yeah. 
have no idea how much it is. Courage, man. Pass it off. That's not how you spell kitty. You fucking kidding me? Oh, no, you see, it's not a kitty. I mean, for real? Blow them to remove their call of kitty smoke along. You fucking kidding me? Add it with a second I. You don't leave the second I out. Otherwise, you're just blind in one eye, right? I mean, seriously. And 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 Oh no man! Oh ha ha! Friend. Okay now people. There's something that we can all agree upon and it's something that's very straightforward, something that we can all understand, and I wanna make it perfectly clear to you. The only two defining forces I've ever offered to die for you. Christ Jesus. No, the God friend. But Jesus Christ and the American soldier. One died to your soul, the other died to your freedom. And let me tell you, as long as I've got a copy of my balls, that's the truth. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Look at the rubble! You're my bro! Look at the rubble! Oh shit! Oh, look at <laughs> The city of London is not a part of England. Washington D.C. is not a part of America. Vatican City is not a part of Italy. Three Egyptian obelisks. Three cities not supposedly part of their home countries. One world power system. The system has always been rigged, folks, I'm telling you. And it always will be. But you don't have to be a part of the system anymore. You can get right with God now and put your trust in Him and listen to what He says and go about what He says correctly in His way, not yours. Yeah, I just thought I'd show that to you. Courtesy of my friend Esoteric Exposal. An Ariel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. And the women who bound themselves with the fallen angels shall become sirens. Sirens meaning ancient seducing spirits in the ages of Earth. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, this Nobody can when Hillary Clinton actually turned 80 into a shithole. You know it's true. You know damn well that it's true, people. I do not have sexual relations with underage sex slaves on Mr. Epstein's island on the 26 occasions I went there. Yeah. I don't believe that, Bill. You're a sex addict, buddy. Seriously, though, Bill, you need to go to hell. Because hell's waiting for you, buddy. Satan's wasting the... Satan's waiting to roast your ass, buddy. So, Mr. Clinton, sir, hell awaits you. And whether you like it or not, regardless of what you do, you're still going there when you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Bill Clinton gets a blowjob while president. Democrats still praise him. Donald Trump supposedly gets one 10 years ago, they want him impeached. That's hypocrisy at the highest level, people. If I had a brick for every lie Hillary Clinton told, I could build two walls. I really could. I mean, there's just no question about it, now is there? No question. They're just a Ukrainian version of freaking Pan and Della. Oh, man. Yeah, let, 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 let's check this out. Let's check this out. Oh, they're doing some gnarly stuff there. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is from a user named DSX Ryan One. Published this video on August the 2nd, 2009. So, eight and a half years ago, I would say. Oh, the hell is this? The hell is this? They doing a William Terror routine? I mean, this guy couldn't even fucking try to even balance an apple on his head, so he uses a can instead. Oh, oh, whoa. what? Uh oh. Damn, I'm I'm sorry you had to see that. You know, I mean seriously though, I really am. I'm sick of hell. I'm not sorry. Let's move on. So what makes that It was her idea. Winnie the Pooh's all ghetto-fied. 
with his Rolex shirt and his gold chains and his, and his sunglasses. Oh, good God, man. They don't even turn no guns on the hook. Oh, great, yeah. It's just, oh, Lord, man. This is too much. And then, uh, oh! 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 Look at this! Oh, my God! Yeah! Oh, this just took so many days of planning and preparing on his end. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> This is, this is the single greatest work that he's created so far, but, but, uh, just, this is just, oh, man, golly, I, I just don't, oh, oh, <laughs> I just don't. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, man, this is. Oh man, that's just too, just, this is just too much. Man. And 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 you got all this stuff going on for whatever reason, and, and it's just a. <laughs> oh, look at the new guy, the midget! Oh, shit, this guy looks like a midget! Look, a little person! We call him the Greggy Genius! Come on, we put you away! Oh, man. That's just... Oh... Oh, what, what? Oh, golly. They call him Baby McRagga. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just so much cringe, man. Holy shit. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh good God, man. <laughs> this guy... Cosplaying as Oscar the Grouch from fucking Sesame Street. Oh my god. The people who created Sesame Street would be so totally approving of this, man. They would so totally approve of this, no question. Man. Just, just no question. We're gonna get roasted! Let's see some Ramsey roastings, yeah? Ah, yeah, man. Let's, let's see Boy Ramsey roast some more beef chefs, huh? Hell's Kitchen style. And none of that MasterChef crap. And don't get me wrong, MasterChef's a great show, but he's best known for Hell's Kitchen. Oh, look, look, look at this. Hey, Gordon Ramsay! What do you think of my pasta dish I made for my fiance and myself last night? I'm a mice, just said yes! Christ almighty, I mean, what the fuck even is that? Boom! Roasted! Ah! Ah, yeah! Okay, next one. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, Ramsey, wait my famous eggplant parliament with two noodles at the bottom. Uh... What? I mean, don't get me wrong, this looks great, I mean... But, but still, I mean, all these comments. And not one of them has prompted Gordon Ramsay to respond. Yeah. Oh, look at that, it's, there's a response. It's called a disease, man. What the fuck, I mean... Do you honestly think I would serve that in my fucking kitchen? It's called a disease, it's probably got salmonella all over it. Fucking ridden with shit. Christ almighty. <laughs> that is just, oh man, yeah, that's just, let's, 
Let's look at one more. I'm I'm feeling lucky. Okay, let's 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 look at actually no. Let's just let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. Gun Ramsey, how's my taco salad and nachos look? Oh, oh man, I... yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what you think of that. I don't know what you think of that. My grandma's flower basket on her porch. Well. That sounds about right. If I were Wesley, I'd actually consider it a compliment. Needless to say, it looks great. And I mean, it's, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> Amazing Grace, gotta give it up to God. It's alright. Yeah. Me. Now that guy reminds me of Kurt Cobain, now doesn't he? Yeah. In fact, he does remind me a lot of Kurt Cobain. He's got the attitude. Meanwhile, I think he has a pretty good singing voice. But Randy, Paula, and Simon, on the other hand, when he was auditioned way back in the mid 2000s, didn't seem to agree. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll let you figure out what happens at the end of this one, huh? Let's just do that. You'll figure it out. It's you hear me? You hear me, man? I can't. I can't leave. I cannot leave. I'm not trying. I'm not going to get violent. I'm not. Come on, man. You see me fighting for this show, and then you go get me out. Oh, Jesus. Everybody get saved. Go ahead. Okay, you're gonna bend your knees, and you're gonna roll over and step up. Come on. Bend your knees. Bend your knees and get up. That's all. That's the way it's gotta be. You gotta take me out of the cup. You gotta take me out of the cup. Act like I can't sing, Randy. Who's that? You gotta take me out of the cup. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Say, I remember this woman. She did the national anthem for one of her school's games. And now she's on the ill fated reboot of American Idol. Yeah. What a remarkable comeback, right? I mean, seriously, though, think about it. Such a remarkable comeback. Especially from three years ago. Well, I can't say especially because her case is a special case. And every case is different. But they all connect in some way so that they're similar. So, it figures. And nah, that, I'm just kidding, you're going to heaven, little dun, 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 Have a good one, God bless, and fuck off. Another video from one of my all-time favorite YouTubers, also known as Wrestling Shoo!
This is too funny, man. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Ah. Uh. Now let me tell you, this is some great A legit unquit shit right there. And by unquit, I mean this stuff is good. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh lord man that's too funny that's good enough for me oh cookie 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 starts with c really you gonna do that shit freaking dumbass man i lost your fuck you so far. I hope this is a Puff Daddy version of the song. Not that Sting, he's a sh- I get what you mean there, buddy. Fuck! Danny Walters Jr., everybody. Let's okay, give it up for him. I just canceled my brother's uh, World of Warcraft account, and he is flipping out. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. 
This is likely the catalyst that started the Me Too movement. Now, another post from your friend and mine, Rich Wilson. I mean, not that it's gonna make a difference, but who cares at this point? In Jesus' name, Amen. Roses are red, violets are blue, Asian girl gagged in car part two. <laughs> Oh, that's so messed up. Ah, that's, that's messed up. Good God. No pain, no gain. And how and how fitting is that? How fitting is that? Oh, so so Christ runs and operates a gym in heaven now. Nice. That's nice. I wonder if he also goes to his father's gym, which his father himself owns and operates. I guess that would be God's gold's gym, or something. Yeah, that's only messed that up, hell with it. Uh... What? Is... Oh, that's that's hilarious, man. <laughs> you you fucking want me? I won't talk to him, so he knows I'm mad. Nice. She hasn't bothered me all day. <laughs> Oh look, it's my 14 year old self. Hey 14 year old self from 2007, how are you? Actually, that's more like the best way to get rid of your gums, teeth, and tongue without ever having to pay anything for it or have a doctor do that for you.
Life is like a talent show. You just never know who's going to come out on top or win. Unless you're an elitist, then you know for sure that your popularity level alone is going to get you the win. In this case, some people decided to play the popular card even though they weren't popular and they failed massively. Why don't we take a look at that, shall we? I mean, just for the hell of it. Because personally, I don't even care. <laughs> Let's look at some talent. Yeah! Sounds good so far. Take a look at this word. See it? Some people say, bitch. The more you know. <laughs> Said every YouTuber ever. Then again, we already know this stuff, so there you go. And now we're back with more Brash Candy Boot. Not that it matters, but who gives a fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? I'll take, uh, no for 200. Okay, stop. Who's responsible for uploading this train wreck of an audition? I forgot. <sighs> Who? Eliane Smith? Yeah. Oh. So apparently she went into this talent show as Alyssa? Or is that another person entirely? I think that's her suit on here. Oh. Well, her, Sadie, Katie, and Courtney were on a school talent show. In 2010, no less. So this was about eight years ago. Almost to the exact mark. <laughs> what is that? Oh, same thing in my time showing one. Wow. The whole world is beginning. Oh, this is getting good. Which reminds me, I went to this talent show that I auditioned for, not once, but twice. But, uh, it was two separate talent shows, two separate years. And they both ran consecutively. 
but I want to tell you about my experience at a talent show. I was at Philo, I was a participant in Philo Island, this, this school talent show that was obviously a knockoff of Philo Island. I mean, American Idol. Why am I mixing the two together? But anyway, I came on the stage, first go around, 2006 was it? And I decided to sing Kryptonite by Three Doors Down, and I'd memorized the song, and I already made a huge splash with it, you know? Everybody was loving it. But then, of course, they had to pick a couple of trendy acts, you know, one of which was one of my former elementary school counselor's sons, who also happened to be a rapper at the time. I don't know how he's doing now. And another act called Philo's Finest, which literally proved that the whole damn talent show was in fact a work. You know? But this was before I knew that talent shows and other stuff like that were rigged and deliberately staged just for entertainment purposes. Anyhow, I auditioned for a second time the following year in 2007, and I decided to come up with an original song that I wrote. You know, it was a, it was a gospel song, like a gospel-inspired song with, with a modern feel, you know, but I had written it on my own. And, of course, I got the okay to perform the song live, and meanwhile, I performed the song live. Unfortunately, it had to be cut short due to it running over the three-minute mark for whatever reason, because that's how talent shows are written. So it figures, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, the more you know, the better. So that's why you're 47 and living with your broke-ass parents, and I'm not. <laughs> Everybody, I'd like you to meet Frank Stevens, the sufferer of Down syndrome. This guy knows about life more than any one of us put together, and he's got something to say. Listen. And you know what's funny? What's funny is that they want to kill people like him off. But listen to this one. I am a man. I mean, do you get it, people? Do you get it? It's all freaking there, black and white, plain as day. Even a man with Down syndrome knows that Congress is easily the fourth Reich, front and center, plain as day, but most of us will never see it because we're too stuck up to give a damn. Now take a look at this segment. Look at all those dumb cucks. Clapping their asses off as if they even give a shit as to what this guy is really telling them. And let me tell you, they don't really care. They're just here because they have to be. Listen to this. So given that this was posted by a YouTube channel named Reflect on October 27, 2017, not only does this still relate to our struggle now, but it also relates to the struggles of people who have mental disorders such as Frank Stevens or even myself. Now listen to this, huh? Listen, you see people, you cannot in hell script this stuff. There's no way, it's impossible. This guy speaks from the heart. He knows exactly how it is. He understands exactly how it is and knows that Congress pales in comparison to what he can do. And I know I said comparison incorrectly, but to hell with it, right? I mean, yeah, so be it. This guy knows about life more than any one of us put together, and he's got something to say. Listen, now something completely random. Somebody that no woman should you never... See this, people? Nobody wants to be... Yeah, man, girl. you know it's true. Listen Nobody. to this guy now. The people pushing this particular final... Yeah, it is a final solution, isn't it? Are saying that, that people like me should not exist. Well, that's all the proof you need. Congress wants to do the Holocaust, but instead of Jews, 
they want people with Down syndrome and people who are mentally ill in general serve as the primary catalyst victims. Or whatever the hell you call it, I don't know anymore. Here's some Steven Asante to close us out. You can't spell Asante without the word S. And that's all I got. So, until next time, I'll see you on social media and cyberspace. Goodbye. 21st century film! Yes! Yeah, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> let's do some Googling up in this mother, huh? Okay, let's, let's look up some Logan Paul. Oh, apparently this is trending. Okay. What do we got here? got some hella shocking news for you. Okay, Clever News published this news bit on April the 3rd, 2018, regarding Logan Paul, who was in Yosemite for his 23rd birthday party, riding around with his friends in a very, very cool bus, which sounds pretty normal until you consider the fact that a park ranger noticed him and his friends strapping up tents to the top of his school bus, and in addition, they were all sitting in those tents while the bus was moving. The park ranger, of course, deemed it an illegal operation and gave Logan a citation where he will have to pay a small fine. The ranger continued to say that the stunt, quote, wasn't the smartest or safest thing to do. No shit. In fact, wasn't the smartest or safest thing to do would be a hell of an understatement of that. In fact, I think it's probably one of the dumbest and the least safe person in so many things that anything can do. I mean, seriously, though, it's dumb, it's stupid, it's not safe, it's pointless, man. Hey, you remember when I 
has said that Logan Paul clearly did not learn from this mistake. Well, guess what? I wasn't kidding. Because the following month, month, not even five weeks later, Logan Paul got deep shit again by exposing himself to some dead rats. He tased a bunch of dead rats in his latest vlog. And PETA even slams him. You know, the... I don't know what PETA is known for, or what it is an acronym of, but I know it's a pet engagement prevention kind of company, but, I mean, you know. But YouTube, of course, from all of Logan Paul's ad revenue, which is equivalent to how much an NBA player makes a year on average, which is one million dollars a month. That's 12 million a year, people. And this guy was set for life before he started doing this shit. So imagine how fucked he is now. Imagine how fucked he is. Seriously. You deserve this, Logan Paul. No kidding. You did this shit. You thought you could get away with murder, and you got caught. So there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to slam the Democrats that run these social media websites. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. It has come to my attention that Twitter is trying to pull a Facebook. They're trying to stir up this liberal Weishaupton satanic agenda that the Democrats have been pushing for for so many decades now. And they're just doing everything they can to avoid being called out by Congress like Zuckerberg did when his company Facebook was investigated. And to all the people running Twitter right now who are behind this scheme, you've officially been caught red-handed. The game is over, the jig is up, the fix is in. Close the book, stick a fork in it, it is done. Also, newsflash, huh? You want a newsflash? I'm gonna give you a newsflash. Yeah. So YouTube is trying to be essentially Google, which makes a lot of sense since Google's on YouTube now since 2006, which is the year after YouTube was founded by a trio of ex-PayPal employees who wanted to make a site where anyone could share videos as long as it wasn't too edgy. Look how that turned out. Rest in peace, YouTube, 2005 to 2018. CNN did self to death, huh? How do you like I should also point out that Facebook has become a hotbed for illegal immigration advocates and libtards. I'll tell you why. Zuckerberg just recently got called out by Congress. There are various sources from Fox News to YouTube to Wikipedia that tell you this. I don't even have to show you a clip because I'm not going to risk having a copyright claim put on my video because obviously I don't need to. And why should I? And you know, come to think of it, I have a few copyright claims being claimed on my recent output lately on several of my videos, notably on episode 2 of Savage Level Mega Knoll and a season 3 episode of Spot the Liberal. Of course, I played the matches to each of these videos and they sounded nothing like the content for which the copyright claimer claimed was stolen. Let that one sink in. So, yeah. Facebook has Zuckerberged itself to death and hit an iceberg on the Weishaupton Titanic. So, people, you're welcome.
What the actual fuck were you? I wasn't. <laughs> Shit. YouTube secret uncovered. Now, what is YouTube's biggest secret? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's the part of the freaking Illuminati. That's the biggest secret YouTube side from us. Also, it's been a part of Google and it's been Google's bitch since 2006. So, by the way, why do we need to even place something like that on an ad or video that supposedly suggests about YouTube's biggest secret, YouTube's biggest stars, game? because he's afraid of having a real job, afraid of not having millions of dollars, afraid of being a regular person. So he called out the man that made him. I lost respect for Jack and he will never get it back from me. I am something because now I know this all act is a load of bullshit. He's a fake nice guy, a fake friend, a fake YouTube personality. Like I said, he cares more about money and lifestyle than supporting no, it's fine, but let me say it again, the man who made it. I don't care about PewDiePie to be honest, I don't watch his videos, but you don't shit all over somebody who got you where you are just so you can try to save your own ass. We have a saying for that where I'm from. We call that being fish made. Wait a minute! Jack said the guy never said PewDiePie jokes were bad. He was just saying that those jokes could lead into some trouble if a limit was reached. Why no lifers think that he backstabbed him when he just helped him? Jack is a good friend of Felix. Well, I'll tell you what, Ainsley. I'm not used to taking sides. I'm better off being a neutralist. But in this case, I'll make an exception. I'm going with you on this one. Because you're absolutely right, and you know exactly what's going on. Thanks, Ainsley. I might even subscribe to your channel. You know what? Yeah, let me go ahead and do that now. <laughs> what the fuck? I needed this. Thank you. You know what I say? So away. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is just too much, man. I'm telling you. This guy is legit. I wonder why he doesn't have any more followers than he does. Right, because he's not within the algorithm or whatever? Ah, the hell with it. I don't, I don't care. And now for some actual talent! Meaning the shit that you came here to see. Now, didn't you? This guy's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh. This is the kind of shit you'd see on Animal Planet, now isn't it? 
Oh my god, it's Animal Planet! Holy fuck! That doesn't surprise me. That does. I mean, shit. It's a freaking rodeo. You're either gonna get bucked off the bull before the eight seconds pass, you're gonna ride the bull for eight seconds, or you're gonna get bucked off the bull in eight seconds, and you're possibly gonna get killed by said bull. The bull is 1600 pounds, buddy! You just ain't gonna win! What the hell, man? Christ almighty! Did you expect to come out of that unscathed? I wasn't. It's just... And that's what you realized. He done fucked up. And luckily for him, it would not be the last time. So, yeah, his, his foot apparently... Oh, uh oh, 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 shit. Serves him right. He was stupid enough to get our own in the first place. Well, I don't know, man. The poor arms are good as Jesus. Oh, well, I agree. Wait a minute! This 19-year-old cowboy made $172,000 for 32 seconds of what? That's more than I made my time! Fancy with the Stars premiered as a TV show in 2005, not 2014, okay? Let's get that straight. Alright? Alright. Oh, we can! We can premiere in 2005! Holy shit! Ha! Look at that! The picture gets much better after the 42nd mark. Yeah, you don't fucking say. You don't say. No shit. Let's, let's get to four. Uh... That's supposed to be Chaz Bono, the same guy that... used to be a woman named Chastity Bono. Okay, what 
in the god awful fuck is this? If you're trying to be in a freaking Chris Angel mind fuck, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> Damn, man. I don't know about you, but this isn't gonna work. What's the point in it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit! What in the Oh my god. I, this is just too much, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> and for reasons I won't name here, the following clip has of course been muted. Because the copyright Nazis are everywhere. The front line is everywhere. Roll it. Yeah, this this looks good. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> this kid's trying to recreate the first successful bottle flip. I don't even know. Oh god. Oh man, this is. I have a feeling this is actually gonna succeed. You know what? Let's just let's just assume I haven't seen this before, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Shit, man. This is just such an epic thing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, golly. It's time for another episode of... This guy cannot sing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so that you see an audition process on Oh, my God. With no chance in hell of ever getting away. So neither do I, so there. I'm sure, right? Anyway, I mean, check this last one. Seriously, I'm sure. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did I not see this before? Eh, the hell with it. And we leave you now with this clip of a wheelchair user playing for and winning, shockingly, a treadmill. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that shit. Yeah, so this gonna make it really pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No shit. No shit. Now we've got a treadmill and a new sauna! Oh my god, it's so messy. Oh, <laughs> 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 so
fucking dance in the same WWE fan. <laughs> I mean, that and the, and the Rollins Miz match was actually really good. But those were the only good things about the fucking show. Everything else sucked. And you can go down on the mountain, motherfucker. Because Backwoods 2018 was the worst WWE pay per view since the show to this river. And you can pick your ass on it. But in all seriousness, I don't even care. I mean,. I didn't even watch the show when I knew it was going to suck. I only watched bits and pieces of the Raw and SmackDown Go Home shows for Backlash, and they both sucked. I watched the entire lead-up to Backlash, and I knew it was going to suck. I watched the promo for Backlash, and I knew it was going to suck. I mean... Yeah. But God, man, what the hell? How? <laughs> Backlash sucks. Backlash was a real backrash. It was a real backrash, everybody. God. I'm getting a rash all over my back just talking about it. Shit. You know, that ain't country. I'll kiss your... Look at some ballpoint pappy again. Some Twitter Picasso over this month. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Rich Homie Core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 God. You <laughs> hear <laughs> This guy on the left. And then, they, and then Twitter Picasso tries to do a SpongeBob meet him on the right. Oh, <laughs> was brilliant. This is even more fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Her curvy freaking, freaking, what the hell is that? Her freaking index finger. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is just too much, man. Oh. <laughs> Golly, let's just move on to something else, okay? All right, now let's look at some bull chases, eh? What you're gonna see is completely graphic, so just do not watch this. Okay. Oh, look at oh, oh, oh my God, what the hell? This 
guy's not going to be able to eat for the rest of his life. Golly. Oh! Uh-oh! What the, the hell happened, happened to you guys? guys? Seriously, let's 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 look at Channel Awesome for a minute. Let's let's look at them. Channel Awesome, founded in April of 2008 as that guy with the glasses, and rebranded at the end of 2014 as Channel Awesome, which is their current name, by the way. Oh, by the way, that's not to mention the fact this ongoing controversy that's been going on surrounding Channel Awesome, and that's not to mention the fact that the Jew Wario incident, you remember that, right? The Jew Wario incident involved this guy named, of course, Jew Wario, who supposedly had romantic interludes with a bunch of women, illegally, mind you, and then he admitted to it, he confessed to it, and then he killed himself. Yeah. What a way to go, huh? You admit to something you should have admitted to a long time ago, then you kill yourself, man. What the hell? But anyway, the point is pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Channel Awesome has officially gone to hell. And I can tell you right now, I can tell you straight up, without any doubt in my mind, that Channel Awesome has officially kicked the bucket. Now, I don't know that you people care enough to know why, but this is because of how Channel Awesome reacted to the Juario incident. This is how they reacted. It's all because of how they reacted to the Juario incident. Mind you, this is just, really, this is a tragedy. <laughs> it's a comedic tragedy. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Look, 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 Oh, nearly all of Channel Awesome's remaining producers left the site. As of April 15, 2018, the forum blogs and store sections of Channel Awesome's website are no longer available. And as of April the 14th of this year, there are only two producers left, aside from the Walkers, Brad Jones, and Larry Bundy Jr. Yeah, yeah, man, that is just, just fucking shit. Oh my God, yeah. Rest in peace, Channel Awesome, because you're totally not awesome. Some here we go. Seriously, here we go. <laughs> what is <this? laughs> what? What? What is that shit? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I think I just lost my voice a little bit there. Jesus. 
Hey! <laughs> look, look at his face, though. Look, look at how distorted his face is. Good fucking god, man. What the hell? And this is, oh! Oh! <laughs> what is that? What is that, man? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> he spread his eyes so far apart. You can tell that he looks Chinese just based on this remade picture by by Ballpoint Pappy. Or Poppy in this case. I mean, I don't know. Make what you want of it. Make what you. Oh, oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> what in the. What in the hell is that? Oh! <laughs> 18 plus, by the way. What the hell is that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is some great A hilarity right there. What the shit is this? Oh, oh my God, man! Seriously, though, you're 18, you're 17, bro, to watch this. Oh my God, what the hell? This. Uh, what? Why is Nikki's head so small, though? Fucking Minaj. Jesus. Okay, what do we got? Oh! Oh! Tell me this! Oh! Well, what is it? What is it? Oh, no! Is that a dick? Is that a cock and ball? Oh, my God! Twitter! Picasso! What the hell did you do to this guy? What did you do to this poor bastard? You gave him new life! That's what you did! Thanks, Twitter Picasso! Because <laughs> sometimes being a Twitter Picasso wasn't enough. Fucking hell, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'll just be reasonable here. I, I don't fucking know. I mean, and this guy sure as hell is misunderstood, and rightfully so. I mean, who wouldn't be misunderstood? It, oh! Oh, look, his baby bump! Oh! <laughs> look at that shit! It's baby ball from Bonnie the <laughs> Oh my god. What is that? Oh. Oh lord. What? This, this is just totally unnecessary. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, uh, oh my god! How how the hell do you do this? This is a spook. What in the world is that? I mean, oh, oh my god! What? I just don't understand. This this guy takes blackface to a whole new level. And then Twitter Picasso has to capitalize on that? Oh, oh, oh no! That is an epic win. I don't give a damn what anyone says. That is fucking wrecked, son. Don't last, bitch! Ah, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Fuck it. That's damn right. These kids give a good first to the- uh oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh! That's totally metal, man! Rock on! Oh my god! Oh lord, that is savage! That's so savage, man. Oh my god! I don't know what this is anymore! Jesus Christ, what is that? Oh, this kid shredded it! Like a boss! Oh lord, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm dead. What is this? Some guy trying to dance? This was me during my 
high by the way in this in 2007. So, not much of a surprise there, huh? Is, is, this, is this really a surprise though? Seriously, let's look at this. Let's listen to this. Look at this. That's totally me from 2006 and 7. Look. I was just like that guy. But now I write my own music, my own compositions, my own lyrics. I'm kicking it, man. Damn straight. Because I know what's what. Now let's keep listening to this. What is this? Oh my god, they're coming eyes from using a nail! Turn off the channel! Damn it, you got me for stop! Please register me! Now I gotta beat the crap out of you! Humor, courtesy of Savage Level Omega Null. Remember this? He won! Get over it! We did. Twice. No riots or tantrums. It sucked, but we just went on with our lives for eight years. Now Donald Trump is your 45th president. Don't like it? Well, <laughs> it, motherfucker. He didn't find a job. Blames the internet. Gee, I won why. Because, I mean, this guy looks like a damn fool. I certainly wouldn't want to look like that. I don't know that I'd care to look like that, to be honest. I picked a useless major which will never allow me to pay off my student loans. So now I'm like the socialist and stuff because it's rich people's fault that I'm poor. Actually, it's your fault that you're poor. Get over it. Tell kids Vietnam vets were baby killers had nine abortions. How ironic is that? Jerry Seinfeld openly dating a 17 year old when he was 39. Sounds like a pedo to me. I won't represent Trump. And if I win, I won't go to the White House. Well, I got one thing to tell you right now. You're not going to like it, and I'm not going to like it either. But at the end of the day... <laughs> Savage Logan Omega Null is sponsored by Heart of Memes and Casually Explained, which remind you that... Whenever you like someone but are afraid to ask them out, remind yourself that you're never going to see that person again and that you have nothing to lose except all your self-esteem. And buy Dodge's Ram Trucks and the Ram 2500 and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Get it? Got it? Good. <laughs> The reason for this is absolutely simple. The masterminds you have absolute control of all the look at this ball kids over this motherfucker. Idiots. Are spoiled is all hell. What a fucking dick. Wow. Wow. Typical millennials. You want to act like Democrats, they're going to get treated like Democrats. Just 
generation is so fucked. Go away! 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 I wouldn't be surprised if she kicked him out of the house right then and there. That would teach him a fucking lesson. I'm taking lesson. stupid video of me! Seriously. <laughs> I'm probably going to go dead by the time this stops yeah. recording. Uh, Josh, all I was asking yeah. you to do was pick up those three cards. Yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> like a selective retard and treat it like one. Go to your fucking room. Oh. Wow. Okay. So, Democrats in Washington and in the deep state act like this all the time. Nobody gives a fuck. Kids like this act like this. They get an instant compilation. Kind of ironic, isn't it? It's kind of a double standard. Double standard? More like no standard. Don't fall inside. Like I said, this generation is so fucked. Yeah, that's what I said earlier, isn't it? Yes. We're both the same. Yes. You're gonna have to learn how to deal better. Like that, like that spoiled, selectively like retarded kid. Time. That dumbass who must you cry for eight me. hours on a flight because it wasn't so Wi Fi available. What a dumbass, right? He's gonna grow up to be a bright politician. <laughs> Fucking moron. Sadly enough, this was me growing up. And I don't usually admit this, but this was totally me growing up. Hey! Suka Suka Maka! Stereotypical Democrats. Stereotypical. At best. failed themselves, and they failed their children in the process. You don't say. America. We're a tart, can be a tart. Don't have to worry about being fucked because you are. 
किया Strangely enough, that was me. He doesn't need time out, he's needing an ass whipping. If he's gonna act like that, whip his ass. Treat him like they treated me when I was a young man. Right? In case you're wondering what's really been going on, please let me remind you that it's time now for our cringe moment of the day! Bring it on, Damn! What the hell? Uh, okay, this this may end good. I don't know. Uh oh. Nah, that that was never gonna work. Never gonna work. Ninja. Yeah, what a fail. You call yourself a fruit ninja? You're more like a new ninja. Uh oh. What's this guy gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do in his fucking backyard? Oh, this is. I think you hit your nuts up. I'm doing it. Hey, that's a good one. Jesus. Well, those are boxes or cinder blocks. I don't know, man. Minutes. I'm not to make a good intro to your video. Example number 718,502. Okay, we're good friends, right? Oh. Fire! Now this is an epic war. Now this is our real cringe moment of the day. And he's gonna touch the furnace. And what's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Oh! <laughs> Instant replay! Instant replay of this motherfucker. One more time! This this guy. Just being a bully guy. See, that's what you get, motherfucker. Damn it! Damn it! You dumbass! Uh, that's what you get. Now this guy. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Uh uh. Not gonna work. Now here's. This guy's just dumb. Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen, you dumbass? What did you think was gonna happen, you stupid ass? Find 
no way to fail. <laughs> See? Always gonna find some way to fail. There you go, do it here, guys. Wait, what? You're gonna hit the tree and an oyster. You're gonna hit the tree branches right there. I think you're gonna hit your butt on this. Alright, we're making bets now. I say she hits the tree. I say something's gonna go wrong. I didn't drink enough beer for this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Pull up. Fuck it! Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Oh my god, the only boys I've ever lived in one out of Everybody run your lives! Nah, don't listen to him, pubes. He's just fucking with you. Don't worry about it, you're good. You're all friend and theirs, between you and us. Yo, Scully, I'm serious, look! What? What's- Oh my fucking god, what the hell? Holy fuck, KK, you were right! That's what I've been trying to tell you! This is Tin. Jake Paul and company are in deep shit. Yes, that's right. A recording artist with platinum for making a Jake Paul diss track. That's right, people. He's just like us. He doesn't like Jake and Logan Paul being treated like royalty on YouTube while small content creators like myself don't even get anything for what we do. We do this for free. We don't do this for money. We do this for free! For free! That's an Adam Sandler quote. Bedtime stories. I'm sure you watched a movie before, but you could it. The point is pretty simple and clear, and I don't, I don't know that you want to know this or not, I don't know that you care to know this or not, but seriously though, seriously. We just want Logan and Jake Paul offline forever, we just, we just want that, right? I don't know about them, but I certainly want that. Yeah, me too, right? Right. So that's the fucking thing. And, 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 and then look at this guy, look at this. Look at this guy. Logan Paul get a, gets a prostate exam from Chris Delia. A prostate exam at 23? Really? What a joke. What a fucking joke. Jesus Christ. Just a bunch of mindless pussy ass fucks. <laughs> Rise of dump him after boyfriend is a <laughs> Okay, okay, let me let me let me just Okay, let me let me, let me finish this. Cries of dump him after boyfriend disobeys kick <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this, oh, 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 there's so many people working such a big fucking fuss over it. Do people have nothing better to do with their lives? I mean, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> And now for some homegrown talent gone wrong or right. That is, of course, unless your name is. Yes! Brought to you by Trend Crave, my latest favorite YouTube channel, who reminds you all that these following segments are full cringe. Absolutely. Let's get to it, shall we? No, no, seriously. Let's let's just let's get to it. All right. Now I'm not going to show some of the audio on this because it's obviously copyrighted <laughs> but you already know so yeah this kid tries to do a cover of ultimate by whoever the hell this 
rapper is that originally sang it, but yeah. Oh my fucking god. Okay, stop, stop. What the hell even is this? Are you fucking kidding me? Golly! What? What? <laughs> wow. This one out. Check this one out. I don't know that you've seen it before, but check this out. Seriously. Because you're going to like this. He rebuilt the economy, which was destroyed um, when the U.S. came in. And uh, Hitler died, but that was really good for them. He was a really good artist. Oh, you can see an example of his art that he made. And uh, he didn't get into art school. And uh, you can see the corner. It says, "Hey Hitler." And um, he made a lot of other paintings that were really good and good. probably influential to artists. Why the hell did you have to bring up JJ the fucking jet plane? Oh my goodness, man. Golly. Okay, 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 next. My number one is the best waifu. Uh, reason number one, pink hair. What? Reason number two, cute and snarky. Reason number three, her voice. Number four, she's just perfect, you know? Reason five, she loves music. Oh, Funny I can stuff. totally relate to that. Yeah! I'm not even kidding, man. I mean, just, just, just look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Doesn't anybody want a Nanan Jakuzuri in their lives? Seriously. Symphony Regalia de Capo! That's better. Okay, I'll just I'll just take that one. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, that's that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Her nickname is the Snake. Well of course. She has a three star Goku suit. Oh yeah, we already Maybe. see that. We'd already see that. Very colorful. Cute nose. Huh? She runs many clubs. Yeah. Her theme song yeah. is really good. Her color. Yeah. She loves plushies. Yeah. The couch. Yeah. And instruments. Exactly. And she's great friends with uh, Sasuke. Exactly. And what was the point in this, sir? What was the point in this? I'm sorry, what was the point in this? What was the point in this? What was the point in this? For real, what was the fucking point in this? WHAT WAS THE POINT IN THIS?! Okay, next one. Next one. Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna say this. Let me handle this phone call real quick. Ah! There we go. Dun 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 like a freak. King Boss. Okay, let's continue with the video. <laughs> That's where it all went to hell. Right there. Right fucking there. If you ever wanted to know where it went all wrong, just look no further. Then right here. Okay. And again. And again. Yeah, that that was totally me growing up. I'm I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was me growing up. No shit. I'm not even joshing this time, though. No, seriously. And what about us? What about us? another slideshow? Oh my God! This guy loves ponies. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs>
Now I gonna be. I'd like to inform you guys that I'm an expert in a number of things. <clears throat> I'm an expert at psychiatry, music, film art, writing, photography, animation, photo manipulation, therapy, journalism, politics, religion, history, education, comedy, irony, history, honesty, philosophy, and calling Illuminati pawns out for who they are, Satan's punk ass bitches. <laughs> After eight years of a president who, uh, Kissed ass. We now have a president who kicks ass. Joe Pol Pot, Mika, Bin Laden, and Willy Hitler, ladies and gentlemen. Get up, all, huh? What a fucking bunch of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, this is so funny. I, I, I'm a predator. Hillary, the biggest cunt in history, Clinton blames the Flint water prices on Republicans and racism. Democrat, 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 the masterminds you have absolute control of all the Savage Level Omega Null is brought to you by Trump Bucks. Because we can't call them Starbucks anymore because Trump trumps them all. Which reminds you that you want to have some fun today, go to Starbucks in order. When they ask your name, say Trump. They will be forced to yell it out, then everyone in the store will start crying. I did it this morning! It was awesome! Yeah! It's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Thanks, you! Wow! Wonder why Roseanne Barr called Chelsea Clinton out for being a Nazi. Well. I hate to break it to you, but oh my god, she was right! She was absolutely fucking right! What a shocker! And yet they still cancel her show! Meanwhile, Keith Olbermann is guilty of slandering Trump, which is basically the same thing, but to a conservative and not a liberal, and they allow him to sign a new deal with Disney-owned ESPN. Are you fucking kidding me? This is absolutely simple. The masterminds have absolute control of all the- Well, hello, all you sheeple! Who's up for a little bit of wordplay? You know Adam Weishaupt, right? Well... You can't spell his last name Weishaupt without the word wipe and the letter U. I mean, well, you could, but all you'd end up getting as a result is the word shack. But yeah, the more you know, still, yeah. The more you know. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, okay, okay. I got another one for you, I got another one for you. So, Dick Durbin, right? You can't spell Dick Durbin. Without the word dick. Notice the trend here? I mean, you could. You could try to spell dick German without the word dick, but the only thing that you get as a result is burn. Spell Hillary Clinton without the word clip. 
Larry Eaton. Larry Eaton. Funny, isn't it? Larry Eaton. <laughs> Funny name. You can also spell the word Hillary Clinton without the word good with the phrase Tonal Harley. I mean, not that it matters with the spell. But, okay, 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 I've got another one. I've got another one. I've got another one. I've got another one. Check this. Barack Obama. Without the word back. Oh my god, what about his real name? What about his real name? Barry Sotoro. Barry Sotoro. Without the word sorry. Try to figure that one on your own, huh? Very Sotoro without the word sorry. Bait. Bait. <laughs> uh, you get the word bait, motherfucker. Uh, as in Norman Bates, the guy from Psycho who had a fetish involving his own mother, apparently was dead, by the way. Can we talk about this, man? Can we talk about this? Please! Can we talk about this? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm afraid one of the brothers might give me a couple of words from this. But, okay, 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 okay. Check this out. Check this out. Check this shit out, huh? Let's check this out. George Bush. George Bush. Who's that Georgie boy? Mr. George Bushy without the word Bosh. Bosh. And that's including the E, by the way. Okay, okay. You can do this. You can do this. What happened if you tried to spell George Bush without the word Bush? Excluding the letter U and including the first E and the only O in his name. Okay. Urge. On savage level, I'm not one of them.
of YouTube. Well, we might as well call it Google Tube now, since they bought YouTube out in 2006. Right. Let's get to the fucking action. Right. Let's look at some spoil. It sounds hard to me. I think we should be paying this second. That was me. Because these kids literally resemble me when I was their age. Like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All the way up to 19 and then so. Including my time in a group home. But I'm not gonna mention it here. Oh wait, technically I just have. Does it really... Yeah. If ever you don't want a kid that's gonna act like this, if you don't want 75 kids at age 30. See, this is why we have condoms. They're not there without a reason, you know. Let's creep it up to 11. Seriously, because it's just fucking necessary. What? Happy birthday! That's yours. Oh! We're just going to fucking ignore all the sound here. Okay. So this spoiled fuck of a teenager, this sad excuse- I don't even deserve to call her a human being because she's obviously not. Her parents bought her a very expensive car. She flips out. For whatever reason. <laughs> By the way, by the way, what do you think? Just real quick, just so you know. International House of Pancakes just recently changed their name to IHOP. I assumed initially that it really meant International House of Bullshit, but I changed my mind and realized that it was really International House of Breakfast. Let me fucking narrate this video! Shut up! Piss up! I said shut the fuck up! No, I didn't! <laughs> Don't let me go to my neighbor's house! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! I'm posting this on Facebook. I don't fucking go! I'm showing it to mom now. I don't fucking care! I don't fucking care! Go in your room now. Stop screaming. You go in your room now! You go in your room. You go in your room! That was also me, girl. I don't care! Go in your room. <laughs> don't try it. You have things to put when I was screaming I'm not even doing anything! I haven't even touched you! I haven't even touched you. Let me go. You're, the you're, not, you're not locking yes, yourself in mom's room. No. Oh go. No. my god. No. Now. No. Go. No. In another room. No. You're not locking yourself in mom's yes, room. Wait. No, you're not. Have we hey seen guys, this Kyle. before? Max is raging. Shut up, up, I said. I got a PS4 for Christmas, plus a bunch of games, and all Ignore Max got was. Fifty dollars. I'd be grateful, but he yes, is just do. unselfish. Yes, you do. He's raging right now over it. Let's you see. That. Hey, what's up, camper? Where are you? Yeah, I'm just you know, I just did. I 
15! What? I got $15! Oh, Shut up! Oh. Ow! I was waiting a whole year and I got 50 bucks! And I got a I asked for money for my freaking computer and I got 50 bucks and you got a PS4 which is like $7,000! Yeah! You're a spoiled camper! <laughs> You're a new- You should not raise your kids to be spoiled. You're an ungrateful You're brat. A You're a brat. No, I'm not. You're I only got 50 bucks. Yeah, and go buy candy. I think you'll really recognize in life. Candy? Chips. Why couldn't I have gotten a PS4? Actually, I already have a PS4. Actually, this kid's in the right here. He's actually in the right here. I should have got an Xbox One. And I should have got the Black Ops 3 PS4. Um, right, I'm not siding with this you kid anymore. You got a more and I got fifty dollars! Babies yeah, don't shrek, let- noob. Shrek! Don't let shrek. your babies grow up to suck Bill Clinton's I paid our dingus. parents to get me an, uh, PS4 ad to get you fifty bucks. Don't let them vote blue no it, matter yeah, what did. in the what? hell you You're do. No, I'm not. Don't let your babies grow up to be Obama, buckets. Hey! Man up! Hey! Get out of here! Man up! Carl! Carl, this is all your fault! You're a spoiled brat! You're like, oh, I got a PS4, I should've got $1,500! I know, I should've. And you should've got $10. Luckily, you got $50! We I'm grateful! No, you're not! You're crying right now! You're running! You don't want to be a baby? Well then, put your shoes on and let's get ready. Let's go. I don't want to be a baby! Well, if you didn't want to be a baby, oh, why the hell did you later, but Not right now. Get off the floor, London. Come on, let's go get on the basket. I well, maybe somebody down. else can get you a toy, but Grandma's that gonna bring you a toy. That's the most humiliating so. experience of my life. But Daddy's not but getting you a toy right now. Something. We've got tons of toys at the a house. Lot. You're gonna get a toy for Christmas. And that says a hell of a lot more than I can say. Oh. Nothing! You loser! Scream! It's all back there! Now for some talent going right! Hey! This is our friend, Ella. She's going to perform a melody of songs for y'all. Oh, the irony of its right. He has become another chore. Don't think I can go walking anymore. Forgive me for this worse than other, but I appreciate you. My life is tiring, my feet are feeling really sore. Wish that I could have a bit of time. To heal the ache that's growing stronger all the time. But I'm the time song to nobody that I know me, so I don't want. Sorry, um, I actually changed my mind about what I want to sing. So, uh, on every cursive letter, tell me why the heck no one is here. Tell me what to do to make it all feel better. You don't fight! Uh, that's not the song I was going to sing. Give me tonight. That's not it either. Don't want to be an American idiot. <laughs> 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 
population, one edge control by the media. Can you hear the sound of hysteria? It's going out to idiot America. Seven feet are bursting at the seams. Time to go. 
He didn't really see a point in being the principal anymore, so he retired this year. Last year, I wrote him a birthday song to make sure he understood how old he was. It was kind of awesome. So I wrote him a new song for his retirement celebration. Now, this song is mostly comprised of inside jokes about Mr. Wells, so let me fill you in. Mr. Wells was a basketball coach before he became a principal. He's been the dictator of the Psy Creek Cougars for 19 years. To motivate students, he would do weird stuff like kissing a pig or dressing up like Mozart. And he has a singing Poe James Brown that he brings around everywhere. Basically, he's clinically insane. And that's what you missed on. Hey. Now, I'm sorry that one of you to write this really nice song, so, um, I tried my best. I don't know how nice it is, but it is a song about you, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> so the most famous principle on YouTube, and I decided to, the uh, real star to on YouTube, so, uh, this is uh, the Mr. Wells song, part two. It's written for the Side Creek Fight song, so, just get back that Cougar pride, okay, okay. <laughs> should have never conceived her to begin with, who should have never given birth to her, who should have never called on her and spoiled her to be the shit stain that she is, and you wonder why I don't feel sorry for people like her. Because they're stingy, and they think everything is theirs, when in fact, nothing ever belonged to them to begin with, that they were fucking given everything on a goddamn silver platter. Enjoy this shit fest. Seriously. I want my mom to understand that I can't live off of a thousand dollars a month and I grew up on a certain lifestyle. She can't just take that away from me immediately. If someone took her lifestyle away from her, other people would have their moms. No. Yeah, absolutely. No. She needs a job. <laughs> Savage Level Omega Null is sponsored by Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie, eat a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. It's also been brought to you by Snickers. Which in no way endorsed this episode. Snickers satisfies. Unless, of course, you voted for Hillary in 2016, at which point. A nice big cup of Mr. Sotero's puke seam and lint flavored shit sundae would better suit your taste. It's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Now piss off.
Remember, if you want my permission to download this video, message me on any of my social media channels and ask for it, and I'll give you my IK. Okay. And above all else, don't be a jackass. Please, be real. Don't steal.